So here I am back in the car and this is a, a camera that we've already previously reviewed here at Cool Smartphone. It's the Anki or Ank uh, X8 dash cam. You can see here it's got really high resolution but there was a few things we wanted to see improved um, such as the GPS uh, it shows there on the top right but it's not included. You have to actually put a little GPS unit in which is a plug-in device there. The charging points on the top, which does tend to squeeze against your windscreen when you've uh, mounted it in. And um, the action button here, when you press it, only captures about 10 seconds previous to that. So it does tend to miss events sometimes. When you press this, it only captures uh, a few seconds beforehand. Also, the auto power shutdown and startup depends on movement being captured by the video, by the camera, by the lens. And, and sometimes in traffic it will shut itself down. So I've just resorted to just having it permanently filming, which isn't always ideal. So instead, we're going to have a look at uh, this over here, which is the Garmin 35 dash cam. It's not quite as high resolution this, but it is still 1080p uh, instead of 1296 on the Anc X8. This is a 1080p HD recording. Got some buttons on the side there for controlling what's going on. The main camera up front with a hole here. This is for the attachment that goes onto your windscreen. And uh, also we have uh, what looks like an external speaker slash microphone slot. And we have the micro SD card slot in the bottom there. And it already comes equipped with a micro SD card, which is good. It's a nice shiny black finish. As you can see here, this is the charging point on the left hand side. And what I should also point out is that in the box, they give you a plug like this, which is good because um, your car is very different. Um, well, each person's car, should I say, is very different. So some it might plug in like that and some it might be better to plug in that way, which is good. So they gave you two different types of uh, plug there. Okay, I'll give you a quick look at the box here. This is the GPS enabled, which is good. And it can auto start and stop footage thanks to the GPS. If you're not moving for a long period of time, it'll shut it down. Now, it's got a forward collision warning system, full 1080p HD recording, snapshot, it includes a micro SD card, and it also has a three inch screen. Let's have a look at the size of that SD card, if I can get it ejected here, if my fingernails are long enough. Yes, they are. Let's uh, have a quick look. So included in the box, I have got myself four gigabytes, which should seem you that should seem pretty good. Right, as you can see here, I've got the quick start guide. You can actually put up to 64 gig, uh, up to a 64 gig micro SD card in there. It has to be class four or higher. It tells you what these controls do. So you can press up and it will, oh, there you go. Press and hold up and it turns the device on or off. Press it up or down to scroll through the pages. Press the camera button to save a photo or just tap it to select an option and press back to save a video clip or to return to the previous page. Seems all pretty simple and just gives you a bit of instructions about this here, which is the um, fitment device. And you can see here, this is a review unit. So this has lost its stick quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to improvise here because if I try and put that on my dashboard there, it's gonna fall off immediately. Same likewise with the windscreen. I put that on there. That's not going to last five minutes. That's going to drop off. But basically, uh, to show you how it fits on to the camera, it basically slots into the front here. Come on, let's get you in focus first so you can see what's going on. Puts it into the front there, and it um, basically clicks into place like that, and that will hold it on the windscreen. It's quite a nutty little design, I must admit. After a little push, it locks it in place. So there you go, you can fit it onto your windscreen like this. So it clicks onto your windscreen like that and it holds it in place. Or if you're gonna have it mounted on your uh, dashboard, then you can have it fitted like that. So I'll just show you the two ways you can fit it in. Okay, so here's method number one. You can see it's on my dashboard and it's fitted on. Also here's method number two of fitting the camera to your windscreen. Sorry about all the light balance here, but obviously it's a sunny day. 
and you can see it fits to your windscreen just like that. Now let's have a look at some of the controls of this particular camera. As is usual for these videos, I'm not going to read the instructions, so I'm just going to press and hold this power button at the top here uh, to turn it on. Which uh, we've got a green light and then the Garmin logo. And a, a warning telling you not to mess around with it whilst you're driving. And another warning there as well. And there is my hand. So by the looks of it, we've got a GPS signal on the top left. Um, let's just press tick and see what happens there. Seems to be taking a photo. Processing media. Nice big and very easy to read notifications on the screen. And um, yeah, it seems to have gone very dark there. Let's just hope that uh, it's finished doing whatever it's doing. Alright, it seems to have reset. Interesting. So I'm hoping it's formatting my card because I have um, blanked the micro SD card. So we've got that notification again. And let's see if we press back. Uh, so that, that button down the bottom is if you want to save a video, if there's just been an incident that you want to record. Uh, now we go into the settings and press up. Camera options, the gallery of all the stuff I've taken. So let's go into the settings there. And I'm going to press up, and then I'm going to guess it's a tick button, which it is. You can adjust the brightness, and uh, display timeout, which is good. You don't want the display on all the time because it, it uh, dazzles you at night time to see this screen all the time. Safety cameras, let's have a look at that. See, now you've got safety camera alerts, which is good. So you can tell me when there's a speed camera, as they call it, a safety camera. I'm going to press back here at the bottom. That takes me back to the previous menu. We also have um, setup about and volume. So let's go into setup. Let's get into the, uh, so we've got the time and the date and the units, which is good because sometimes you want kilometers, sometimes you want miles. Uh, you can format the card here, you can set the language, set the date and time, which we've already done. So today is, uh, oh, and also look, the, the way the date is formatted, which is good because some countries have it uh, month, date, year, some countries have it year, month, day, and we have it in the UK, day first, then the month, then the year. So there's some good settings in here, you can get really uh, intricate whether you want 24 hour format. Let's have a look at um, the other options, if I go up and up again, camera options. Now, do you want the forward collision warning on? What resolution do you want? Uh, record after power loss, so if you have been in quite an accident, and it's disconnected the power and uh, then you can record that, record the audio I'm going to say off to that because uh, I don't usually like to hear my own swearing when there's been an incident uh, data overlay, you can choose what data you want on there whether you just want the date and time, whether you want the location and the speed or everything, I'm going to say everything, that's quite good that is event detection, on or off, quite simple on that one and that's about it for the camera options. Good, nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, let's have a look what else we've got. The gallery, and um, that's good. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. They don't want you looking at the media and the pictures that you've taken whilst you uh, are driving. So, oh, there you go, look, there's a, it's just told me there's a mobile safety camera around here somewhere, which is good. Uh, you can see the events, uh, this is when I've pressed the, um, the button down here to save an event, so I haven't got any as yet, but um, I'll show you some of those in um, the preview videos. But those are all the options, pretty good really. Gallery, settings, and the camera options. So that's a look at the interface, and as you can see here, uh, let's just try and zoom in for you, along the bottom, we have uh, the GPS location, how fast I'm going, which is slightly slightly wrong, but never mind. And there you go, look. I know it's a fixed safety zone. That might get annoying after a bit. Um, also, the focus might get annoying. There you go, okay, yes, okay, uh-huh. So it tells me about cameras, which is great. 
Here's the buttons on the side, just a little close look up at them. Nice and clunky, easy to press, and also uh, not easy to accidentally press either. So this is a, a look, a video look of the uh, Garmin GPS safety camera. This is a dash cam 35. You can see there at the, along the bottom that's a micro SD card slot. Here's the charging point. And I think this fixed safety camera zone warning is going to get on my nerves after a bit, so I might turn that off. But um, yeah, it's quite an easy to use out of the box. I've got pretty much all the settings I need. I'm just going to basically put it on the dashboard. I'm not going to bother setting it up to record because it appears to just do that automatically. And um, along the bottom, it tells me everything I need to know. And that is getting annoying. So I'm going to turn that off already and just basically use my eyeballs and um, keep within the speed limits. Whoa, annoying. Okay, so um, there we go. We can see the time and date and the location at the bottom and how fast I'm apparently going, which is uh, th faster than I'm actually going. But I'm going to turn that off now. This, uh, <laughs> this is annoying. And I will um, end this video now. But that's the Dashcam 35.